I'm going to demonstrate helical knitting. It's going to help avoid the slight jog that you get when you change colour on each round. So this section down here is done in a very straightforward way where that first pink stitch is knitted and then I finish up here and then to move on to my uh, bluish purple colour here I wrap the yarn around but what you can get is this wrapped line um, on the back here which creates a bit of a seam and a ridge and also you sometimes get slightly distorted stitches see how that one's a wee bit smaller that one's a bit bigger helical knitting will sort all of that out so instead of working in rounds we actually work in spirals and you can see from this point onwards I am working in um, spirals um, using the helical knitting technique and you can see that the rows are continuous. There's also no seam at the back. So I'm going to show you how to do that just now. In order to start helical knitting, I want my next row to be pink. So this section down here is done in the traditional way where I have just twisted my yarns around the back before I begin the next one. But we're going to start the helical knitting with no twist. So forget that these are beneath um, the row and I'm going to just go ahead and knit a regular round of pink. I'm nearing the end of this round. So I've got my beginning of round marker here and I'm going to knit right up until three stitches before this beginning of round. I'm then going to drop the pink and without twisting it at all, I'm going to slip these next three blue stitches. I'm just slipping them purl wise. And then I'm going to slip the marker and I'm going to start my next row here with the blue. And I'm going to knit all the way around with it. I'm now nearing the end of this blue round and I want to stop three stitches before the colour change. I'm going to stop there and I'm just going to slip these three. Again, I'm not crossing over the um, yarns at all and I'm going to knit with the pink now. You might want to just tighten up your tension a little bit with this stitch and I'm going to slip. Sorry, no, I'm not going to slip. I'm going to just go ahead and knit these next three before the marker, slip the marker and then just knit all the way around with the pink. And when I get round to the end, I'm going to stop three stitches before the colour change. I'm going to then slip these three and then begin knitting with the blue that's in the right position. And I'm just going to knit all the way around. So what you're doing, you're shifting effectively the uh, beginning of your round where you're changing colour. And by doing that, we're just continuing to work in a spiral. I'll show you what that looks like once I have done a few more rows.